OK, so let's look at the next bit then, right? So uh, like so more more complicated, like if you want to delete something from a, a table, um, you know, use this with caution, um, but you just use it simply like you say delete from whatever table and you could delete it. I don't know why you'd want to delete any country less than 10,000, but maybe maybe there was an, a, a clerical error. Like say most countries in the world have over 100 people. So perhaps if there's like data in your database that's nonsense, like because someone's just been entering in rubbish, then you might want to clean it up a bit and delete tables that are less than a certain population. Um, uh, but let's look at some more complicated uh, like commands though. So if you now you've got, I've got like at least, uh, well, I've got uh, England, France, India and Burundi. So apparently Burundi is one of the poorest countries in the world, according to this website I was looking at. Um, is in Africa. It's the poorest country in the world. Um, so we've got like trillion, two trillion dollars. Was their economy is like three billion? That's the size of their GDP. So, um, but say let's um, let's select uh, the name from country right where, um, and we're going to say uh, where GDP um, is less than. So you've got this like with the if statements, the conditions, you've got all the same commands like less than, greater than, less than or equals to, equals, whatever. And you can say less than um, uh, one trillion. Uh, so that'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A billion? Plus nine zeros a billion, 12 zeros a trillion. So that how many is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if we run that, hopefully if I put the numbers in right here, um, you should see it printing out. How do you do an engine? So oh, here, here we go. So it prints out those two lines and then it prints out Burundi. So I think that's billion, isn't it? Three, six, nine. Yeah. What's that? How do you do interval? Yeah, like range between this number and that number. So all countries within like a certain bracket. Uh, you could do. Uh, you can use the uh, logical operation. So like you've got and or not. You can also combine things. So say uh, uh, what if the country has a, a, a GDP greater than a billion. So uh, it will be one of these right um and then you could say like uh and the population and uh the population is greater than like uh, uh 70 um million right so if i run that that should get from here all the countries with the gdp um there we go like uh england france and india i get confused sometimes with the different select so you can comment out like that um but yeah there we go so i've got um uh that is this is now getting all the countries uh, let's just comment that one out too so we can see what's what.
So that doesn't make any sense. Huh? I've messed that one up. Uh, what? Well, we're doing a lesson, aren't we? I'm doing a lesson. I'm yeah. doing in the middle of a lesson. No, just comes to the lesson. Okay. Yeah, so you can. Um, so you've got uh, select from country where GDP is greater than that. Uh, and population is that. So this one should print out um, the right thing. Uh, just printing out India. So uh, this India is the only one with a, uh, a GDP greater than that and a population greater than that. Yeah. So you can combine different uh, columns. You can combine different parameters uh, by using and or not. Right. So, yeah, you can make this as complicated as you want. Um, uh, so and or not can be combined. Um, you can also look at like strings, yeah? So you could say, does the country name begin with an I? So um, let's out. Right, you see, you write some of these things in here. Um, so where uh, name like If we said uh, percent that you put in brackets, a percent i, then uh, or or e, what what will that print out? Mm. Yeah, hopefully. So you say select from uh, the table where name is like. Ah, uh, yeah. See, so what is the problem there? Can anyone see the problem is with that is? So the percent is meant to be a wild card, right? So if you use that percent, it's saying anything that ends with E, yeah? Because it's like, you can have anything in front of the E, right? But it's just got to end with E. Uh, so the only country here that ends with E is France. Yeah, and that's why it prints out France here. But if we wanted to say any country that begins with E, then I put the wild card after the letter, right? So I can run it like that. And then it prints out England. Yeah. Um, Uh, you can also do ordering as well. Um, so, for example, um, let's uh, we're going to select each country and we're going to order them in terms of population ascending. So, um, I could I'm going to leave that in there so you've got an example of that and I'll just comment it out and put another one and we're going to change that to we're not going to have a where we're just going to have order by. Sometimes it's easier to write everything on a new line and then you can see the separate lines like that um, order by. Uh, population. Ascending right or. And then we got France, Indi France, England, India, and Burundi. So obviously there's a mistake in my data there. I don't think Burundi's got that big of a population. Um, but if I change it and make it a bit smaller, then you can see like it then keep, it starts putting it down. Uh, what would I change? What would I need to change about that to make it in ascent descending order? 
so from the largest to the smallest. Uh, whatever the yeah, whatever the command is for descending, which I think if we look like again, look here, uh, order by, can have a look at that bit of the page. Um, desk and ASC, so yeah. So then it changes the order there. So we start from the biggest country. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. There must be a mistake in my data. Yeah. Because I think France has a. There, there's too many zeros there, aren't there? Is that right? There we go. That's better. France has got a bigger population than England. Can you do commas? Yes, you want to set out the zeros so you don't make a mistake. Or that mix up in separate things as well. I think you could. So 67. No, that would make it, that would break it because it would think it was another element. Yeah? Okay. Well, so that's, how would you get around this sort of error if you're not making a series of dicks? That could cost you. Validate the information before we put it in. Well, you can't really, but like the, the way it's inserted should be validated before you put it in but you know so yeah we can order things like that and so what have you have a go at this data and like play around with it a little bit right like uh see if you can do order some order buys can you use this like command can you you can you combine conditions and see what information you get um Maybe what maybe to give yourself some more data, you could use ChatGPT and get it to generate a couple of inserts. That might be a good idea. And then you've got a lot of information. So this is where ChatGPT comes very useful. Like if you just want to generate information. So let's say generate me 10 more uh, data points like in SQL. So it will actually go and insert the correct data as well. Here are 10 more fictional uh, fictional countries. Zamunda, Friondia, Genova, Albania. It was kind of helpful. Is that a country only? What? Albania. There is no country called Albania. Sounds like it. Potsylvania, Latveria. Right, so go and play around with some of these queries and get the hang of it. Uh, up until what, November or something like that. Okay. I forgot I'm not to the beginning. 